What's up, guys? So today I'm be unboxing my fidget cube. This package, that's all. Now this took a good three weeks to get here. Um, my brother, he ordered a fidget cube from a different website two days later than me, and his still hasn't got a tracking number. And he, so he emailed him, and they said that there's discontinued manufacturing, so be careful which website you order these from if you're going to get one. So, start off by just opening it up. <coughs> Alright, so, there's the fidget cube. Nothing else in the package. That's it. So, here's what the box looks like. Fidget cube. Shows all the different fidgets on this side. Same on that side. There's some Chinese writing on here. This isn't the real one. This is just that fake knockoff version that they sell you. And this was around $20. And I got it off Fidget Cube 360. It was a um, YouTube, not a YouTube, an Instagram ad. And I really wanted one, so I ordered it. And see, it's made in China, obviously. So let's open it up. All right, so right off the bat, some nice packaging. Fidget Cube's in there well. Now, this is solid plastic piece. Protect it. Then at the bottom, there's some instructions, I guess. In Chinese. Um, oh, here's the English. Just talking to you about the fidget cube, what it's used for, all that. And then there's a product warranty card in Chinese or in English. So this is a year warranty, it says. So that need to fill that out. That's useful. So now onto the cube. So comes in two pieces, plastic. Take that piece off. No, here's the cube. I got this one in the black and green color. It was the second color on the website. And it's like, it's a real matte black. It's not shiny at all. It's really nice and smooth. So we'll start with the first side. Because obviously it has six sides, the cube. But here's the first side. It's the joystick. Now, the joystick is, well, it's the joystick or the glide according to this. The glide, the fourth one. See, so you, you can push it down. Or, you can just move it around like a normal little joystick. This one's really nice. It's not loud. It's quiet for, say, you're taking a test or something. You can just do this because it won't be distracting to anybody. Now, next side, which is the, the click. The click are these five buttons here. Now, three of them are loud. These three are loud. And then these two are quieter. I don't know if you can hear the difference between... But these two are the loud ones. These two are the quiet ones. And see, you can you can do these quiet ones, say, an important thing. But if you're at home by yourself, you can do the loud ones. Because it's supposed to mimic, like, clicking of a pen. Because it's, like, the same sound. Really satisfying. Now, the next one is the the spin. This is the spin. It's a little, a little bump right here. So you can grab your finger on it. And then you just spin it. This is actually extremely smooth. Really nice. Now, it's kind of hard to get used to. Once you get used to it, it's really satisfying. I like this one a lot. Alright, next one. The roll. Here's the roll. Roll, it's a ball bearing. And then some gears. Now, these gears, they're very loud. This, won't be, this will not be a good one for work or school or wherever. But, they are fun to turn satisfying now the ball of this is really nice very smooth the only one downside to this one is with this fake version it doesn't click and on the real one it's supposed to click but this one does not but other than that it's really smooth really nice that one's amazing all right so the flip flips a light switch basically it's really nice just like a light switch but Put a little pressure on it. You can rock it back and forth, not as loud. And then without. Really like that one. That one's really good too. Final one, which is breathe. Breathe is this. I don't know if you can see the indentation there. But it's supposed to signify a worry stone. So if you're ever like worried or anxious for a test, this is supposed to relieve your anxiety just by rubbing it. It's actually really smooth. Love the mat. 
not hard at all, just glides in your finger nicely. Really like this one. So, overall, this cube was definitely worth it. And really recommend this to anybody. If you fidget or just click pens or non-stop do anything, but it was really worth the money and I would highly recommend it for anybody. Makes a great Christmas present because it's Christmas time, you know, get your friends one. Alright, thanks for watching.